All right, Walker Nation, it's Dave Solo back with you. Walker, Soccer, Con Atlanta, and you all know the amazing woman to my right. It's Melissa Hutchison. Fantastic to see you again. How are you, Melissa? I am, I'm really excited and very happy to see you again here at another Walker Stalker in Atlanta. So I'm doing great. Awesome. I'm good. Big ups to everybody for that helped out with the Kickstarter, and that's why we're here, because we needed to see you. Because we're going home. We're going home after this. <laughs> yeah. Damn you, Andrew Lincoln and Norman Reedus. It's yeah. all about me. Who? Yeah, no, I don't even know who that is. Yeah. So last time we spoke, we were waiting to see what was going to happen, right? Yeah. But uh, yeah, the now season two wrapped up. Yes. How do you how you feeling? Uh, I feel great. I don't know if that's the <laughs> best word to describe it. Um, I'm really happy with how it ended and the feedback from it. it I mean, it just it did amazingly and again, it was another gut wrenching emotional ending to a season and uh, I'm fingers crossed that we'll do that again in season three <laughs> so um, it's it feels good it's just it's such a cool game and I'm psyched that my character is still alive spoiler alert yeah whatever right and yeah. I'm emotionally exhausted I'm like numb at this point I think after that season I've never cried yeah. so much and I'm a grown man in my entire life yeah, it's there was a lot of tears shed in the recording studio as well. So, but that's a compliment. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> your tears are a compliment. <laughs> I love your tears. Yeah. Uh, I actually have a jar of them right off camera yeah, that I'm going to give them to you. <laughs> but I drink them, and that's how I get my special powers. That's disgusting. I don't know. Oh, never mind. Amazing. You never disappoint. <laughs> so, um, you know, Clem grew up a little bit, right? So, where do you think her mind was at? What do you think her mindset was in the season two? And then, and then where do you think it's going for season three? Um, you know, her mindset for season two was, you know, some time had passed since uh, leaving Lee. And um, she's a lot stronger. She's a bit hardened. She's sassier. But at the same time, I still had to keep the essence of the younger Clem, in which we all fell in love with. Uh, and it was a cool transition being the playable character because it was just I think her character obviously you know way more dialogue and and she's just a more dynamic character at this point and more to fall in love with so it was just it was such a cool experience uh, taking over as the playable character and that's another spoiler alert so earmuffs that flashback scene with Lee, was that done, was that in the can or was that, did you have to do that again for this, this game? No, we did it again. Oh, how was yeah. that? It was awesome. I mean, I didn't, we, uh, as we call him Lee, Dave Benoit and I didn't record that together, but it was really cool because he recorded his lines and then I did mine and I was able to like at least hear him in my headphones. So I was like, oh, I'm working with Lee again. So it was really cool. Uh, we were just at a, a con in Sacramento together and, you know, it was it was like being reunited all over again. So yeah. What do you think of the uh, all the pictures and all the all the the push for him to be Ezekiel in the show? What do you think of that? Yeah. I'm all for it. I'm all about it. Um, it's funny. We just did a panel in New York Comic Con with Robert Kirkman, and he actually even threw that out there. So I mean, I should I don't know if I should say that. Yeah. Well, Edit well, that out. I didn't hear that. But no, I mean you know uh, I he's he's aware that there is a push for. Dave Finoy to be cast as Ezekiel. Um, I would be so psyched for him if that was the case. Right. Maybe so. Shiva can talk and you can voice Shiva. Yeah. <laughs> right? Can I just make magic happen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. So before we go, right, that million dollar voice, how about a little Clem? Maybe, you know, on, on how she's feeling right now in, in the gap between season two and three. Or whatever you want to do because you're not a jukebox, you're a person. Yeah. But <laughs> But here's my, here's my quarter. Bang. <laughs> um, well, Clementine right now, you know, she's she's kind of, well, it just depends on how you played. It depends on what I'm doing right now. But she'd much rather be here at Walker Stalker Con than off on her own or with Kenny or with Jane. Um, she'd rather be here having fun with you guys and, you know. That's where she's at. I don't. I don't know if that was a very good answer, but I, I legit got goosebumps again. So that was a good answer. Melissa, we love you. Thank I love you too. Thank you so much for taking the time yet again. Yeah, you're welcome. We gotta do this more often. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We will.